In this demo, we build an AI agent for Contoso Bank to handle auto loan approval requests from applicants. Traditionally, loan approval involves a series of predefined steps to gather applicant information, such as income, credit history, and employment status. Once this data is collected, a team human analyst steps in to review the information, calculate the risk profile, and decide whether to approve or reject the loan. This is a manual and tedious process. After the decision is made, another set of procedural steps follows to notify the customer and update the relevant systems in the line of business, LOB, applications. Now, let's see how the company transforms this process by introducing an AI agent to handle the majority of loan applications, involving humans only for complex cases. Many steps in this process are deterministic and will remain unchanged. The agent uses multiple tools to automate this process. If evidence falls outside preset decision boundaries, a human is involved in the review process. Let us now implement this agent in logic apps using the designer and the portal. Developers can also do this in VS Code. We start by creating an agent workflow. This is a new kind of workflow that supports agents. After create, when you open the agent workflow, it has the placeholder for trigger and the agent loop action. The agent loop is implemented using a kernel object in the semantic kernel. The agent loop mediates between semantic kernel and logic apps engine. The kernel object, along with an LLM, creates the plan for what needs to be done, while logic apps runtime handles execution of that plan. Let's go ahead and add the trigger for this agent workflow. At Contoso, the loan application is received via Microsoft Forms. So to make this agent handle the application autonomously, we start by adding forms trigger. But you have the flexibility to choose from hundreds of connectors to respond to all kinds of events. Next, we configure the agent loop action. This agent uses an Azure OpenAI model for reasoning. The first step is to either create a new connection to Azure OpenAI or use an existing connection. After connection configuration, you can pick any AI model that deployed in your AI service. Next, we provide the system prompt, which are instructions to the agent on what its goals are, including what it should do, what it should not do, and where it should involve human. These provide guardrails for the agent. Now we add the tools the AI agent can use for loan processing. Behind the scenes, these tools are added to the kernel object we created for the agent loop. To check customers' current standing with bank, we get the customer's banking history from SQL. When you add a tool, the tool is wrapped inside tool block. Add all the details to configure the action you just added as a tool. Provide the name and description of the tool. This is very important step to ensure agent understand the purpose of the tool. Let's add another tool. This time, we'll use the Outlook connector to notify the customer about their loan application decision. Once again, we provide the name and description for the tool so that agent understands the purpose of the tool. To send the email, we need to specify parameters such as the recipient's email address, subject, and message body. We've introduced agent parameters to give developers flexibility in defining how these values are provided, either statically at design time or dynamically at runtime by the agent itself. Depending on the outcome of the application, the agent will provide these values. While tools are great for taking actions, agents often need to be grounded in knowledge. You can also add knowledge to your agent by choosing any of the connectors or through the curated list of knowledge sources here. We are building an autonomous agent. However, Agent Loop supports conversational agents too. To do that, you simply enable the channels for your agent, and then you have an agent which can engage in conversations. So let's jump to this finished agent here. The agent gets company policy from a knowledge tool and then uses different tools to get customer banking history, applicants risk score, any vehicle exceptions, and so on. You can use out-of-box connectors, workflows, your custom APIs as tools. 
If you were to build a multi-agent app, you could also use an agent as a tool as well. The agent workflow continues to have a setup of predefined steps before and after agent loop. Let's run this agent with few examples. In the first case, a loan request is made for a non-luxury car and the applicant has good credit score, income, and bank history. Let's send this application. Now, let's see what happens behind the scenes. Here is the Logic Apps execution which handled this loan request. All the data that's logged as part of this execution is stored in the customer-owned storage, which can also behind a VNet. The agent logs every decision it makes to fulfill its goal. F in the agent chat, you can see all the tools that were invoked and the status. To get more details, you can click on the link to jump to the loop iteration and see inputs and outputs of that step. Once the agent has a final decision, it sends an email to the customer, completing the loan application process. Because the loan application is fully handled by the agent, the customer receives immediate confirmation that their return is accepted, leading to faster resolution times and higher satisfaction while reducing manual overhead for most applications. Let's look at another example. Here the applicant is requesting for a loan for a luxury car, has a lower credit score but solid income. Due to conflicting scenario, agent will need human inputs. Since the request cannot be auto-approved by agent, it's still in the running state. The request is visible in Shows Up in Teams. It includes the AI's analysis of the application, its recommendations and supporting evidence that the agent has collected, the human reviewer can make an informed decision quickly. In this demo, we showed how a developer can easily build and operate AI-powered agents using the agent loop in Logic Apps. These agents can run securely in the cloud, on-premises and customer VNETs, and scale to handle complex scale scenarios. Because Logic Apps is built for developers, they can use a combination of code and built-in constructs, such as the agent loop to implement a range of agentic solutions from dynamic orchestration of tools to coordinated collaboration across multiple agents.